We have a video covering how to best use banana farms, but now we are moving on to boats. The bottom path of the Buccaneer is filled with money making potential, but we are going to figure out how good it is compared to other methods. The first buck that can make money is a 003 Merchantman. This guy costs a total of $3,625 and will make you 220 bucks a round, paying itself off in 16.5 rounds. Now that isn't horrible, but unlike a banana farm, it won't make any money until the tier 3 upgrade. So think of a 003 buck like a 200 farm that starts slow and pays itself off even slower. Then this guy upgrades into a 004 Buccaneer and costs a total of $9,565 and increases the money generation up to $520 per round. This guy is even less efficient and pays itself off in 18.4 rounds, but makes more per round than a 320 farm, which could be nice later on. Now, so far the bottom path bucks sound pretty bad, but they have two calling cards that make them super useful. The first is obvious, and it is that every buck you place down adds to your defenses, and 023 Buccaneers can make the early game very easy. But the second is how you can buff a Buccaneer, and it's different than other money making towers. You see, you can increase their money generation in two ways. You can get XX4 banana farms, which will increase every Buccaneer's output by 10%, and this caps out at 10 farms where every Buccaneer's output will be doubled. And the second is getting the Trade Empire. This guy will increase up to 20 other Buccaneers income by 20 bucks each. So if you have a Trade Empire and three Merchantmen, each Merchantman will earn an extra 60 bucks at the end of each round. And the important thing is that these two buffs stack. So the formulas on screen are how much Merchantmen and Favorite Trade Buccaneers make per round. The M refers to how many Buccaneers are affected by the Trade Empire's money buff, and the C refers to the number of central markets. In short, Merchantmen and Favorite Trades will cap out at $840 and $1840 per round respectively. Now this is way more money per round than banks make, but the sheer amount of infrastructure required is crazy. You'd need one trade empire, 10 central market banana farms, and 20 merchantmen or favorite trades to get these numbers. Which, at this point, I have to recommend going a farm in Druidstrat for most situations. The obvious time you'd go with bucks is if you're on a water heavy map like Spice Islands. But that is how boat farming works in BTD6 and how you can maximize how much money they produce.